these are creepy TikToks that will make you rethink your whole reality. <laughs> 1200s, there was a monk that was sentenced to death. He was going to be walled alive, which is where you stand in place and they build this little coffin around you and then you just wait to die. But the monk pleaded with the judge and said, if you let me live- Facebook actually shut down two robots that they created known as Alice and Bob because they started talking to each other in their own language. I'm back to support F-I-T-C-I-C-E and today I got a compilation for you. So watch to the end. If you guys like the chain, check the link down in the description and let's just get right into the video. Shua Hunter, a part park ranger who worked for the Glacier National Park snapped this picture of a UFO in the sky back in 1995. While there is much speculation of strange UFOs and supernatural phenomena going in in the park, could this really be evidence for strange things within our own national parks? Like and subscribe for more. Scary things caught on camera that you weren't meant to see. Jenna and Jesse are two hosts of a well-liked YouTube channel. One day, they both decide, along with a close friend, to explore an abandoned prison but what they find will shock you. At about 11 and a half minutes into the video a shadowy figure appears behind Jesse. Take a look. To see if he did. So it's for you now. And uh, we did a seance. It echoes so. This is already creepy but what would make it creepier is that this could be the shadow of a real person even though the prison is abandoned. Let me know what you think in the comments and follow so you don't miss more stories. Could very well be the shadow for different persons like what I was saying in one of my last in one of my previous videos. It's like, you could be there, but there could be homeless people there. There could be someone else just like you trying to explore there. It could be honestly someone just trying to hurt you there. Like, you never really know. That's what I'm saying. When you go to like abandon anything, you just got to be careful, like realistically. What's up? Here's some scary facts about our world that you probably didn't want to know. Part 37. In 1973, there was a computer program that stated that in 2040, the end of civilization will come. But not only that. This computer program has made many other various accurate predictions that have already happened. There are only two days in your life that don't last 24 hours. The day you were born and the day you die. If you ever find yourself having to kill a spider, I'd be careful because that spider could potentially be pregnant. And if you kill it, well, it's babies that are inside of it will just go every which direction and all over your house. This is what our nervous system looks like without a skull. In fact, it just looks like a little creature that lives inside of our huge body that controls everything. There was once a psychic who wanted to prove that he was immortal, so he stabbed himself multiple times and ended up dying. So I guess you could say he wasn't immortal. Oh, nah. I don't know why you would think you're immortal and want to prove it by doing something like that. That's insane. These are facts that'll make you get off social media, part one. This man's name is Michael Woods Manzi. And in 1975, he a five-year-old boy by him through the heart. He had a journal where he took notes about the child and how he was dying. He then the five-year-old. But what's even crazier is that he was released from prison after 12 years on good behavior in 2011. Next up, this woman's name is Lamora Williams, and she her two sons by throwing them both in her oven and alive. And if that's not bad enough, she sent a video to the two boys' father. This is actually insane, and I can't believe people like this exist. Man, that's beyond insane. That lady is insane. That lady is crazy. Ew, what the hell? Blood curdling facts that you wish you never knew. Best of 2020, 2021, and 2022. This video shows a man playing Dance Dance Revolution being unknowingly recorded by some people making fun of him. The man, Adam Lanza, six months later would sh his mother in the head while she was asleep and drive to Sandy Hook Elementary School, where he would sh for six adults and 20 children between the ages of six and seven. In the 1960s, scientists attempted to teach dolphins English. However, the experiments were cut short when one of the scientists, Margaret Lavat, was caught having sex with a dolphin named Peter. She even claimed that Peter initiated it, and after she left, he killed himself. In the 18th century, you could actually bring your cat or dog to the London Zoo and pay your admission by feeding it to the lions. This photo shows eight-month-old Zhao Bao, who is lucky to be alive because his mother s***ed him 80 times after he bit her while she was breastfeeding him. A 46-year-old man found and attacked a 13-year-old boy because he was killing him too many times in a game of Call of Duty. There have been countless cases of people's intestines being sucked out by vacuum toilets on airplanes. So if you want to keep your rectum, be sure to stand up before you flush. 
A man once donated his recently deceased mother's body for scientific research. Later he discovered the research facility, sold it to the US Army for five grand, strapped it to a chair, and blew it up with explosives. There are some Native Americans that sided with the Confederates during the Civil War, and some of them even owned slaves. On New Year's Day, this guy was drunk driving with his friends when they ended up two people. He then posted this video, destroying the memorials of the people they killed, and posted it to Twitter. All because his murderer friends were thrown into jail. Yuroko Onaja was in the middle of having sex with his sixth wife when his other wives caught him and became jealous. They forced him to do it with each of them, and he stopped breathing before he could get to the fifth wife. You know that moment when you're about to fall asleep and suddenly you flinch because you feel like you're falling? This is actually known as a hypnic jerk and it alerts your body that you're dying or at least thinks that it's dying. This is former NBA player Mark Jackson's basketball card. In the background are the Menendez brothers. They're sitting courtside shortly after killing their parents and just before getting arrested. Right now, at this very moment, there are tiny little bugs munching on your skin. More people have tapeworms than have dogs, which I guess makes them the most popular pet. Oh yeah, and this is what they look like up close. You know how every few pistachios there's always one that tastes a little bit different? Well, it's because there's a dead navel orange worm inside of it. Every single day, someone takes the largest shit in the world and they have no idea that it was them. If you're ever eating crickets, make sure to chew them thoroughly and do not swallow them alive. They have tiny spines on their legs which can cling to your throat and choke you to death. And the most blood curdling fact of all, this series is over. Yo, one that stuck with me the most is that he said we have more tapeworms inside us than freaking pets, dude. Ew. How do you even know if you have tapeworms? Like, what do you just do? You're just like, huh. My stomach feels kind of upset. I think I have some tapeworms. Like, how do you know? Like, that's so disgusting and strange, man. Scary facts that will ruin your day. Do you ever wake up around 3 a.m. for no apparent reason? They say that if you wake up around 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. for no reason, that there's a 90% chance something was staring at you. Disturbing things caught on GoPro camera PT.2. You know, I've seen that video. I don't know what inspired someone to do that to them. Like, if you're asking me, man, if I'm biking and that happens to me, I'd be so mad. I'd be like, bro, are you dumb? Like, someone could, you could have really hurt someone by doing some stupid stuff like that, man. What's up? Here's some scary facts about our world that you probably didn't want to know. Part 20. Before Michael Jackson actually passed away, five hours before he died, someone posted the exact way and time he would die. And it was 100% accurate, and it did happen that exact way. Facebook actually shut down two robots that they created known as Alice and Bob because they started talking to each other in their own language. Yeah, I probably would have shut them down too. The CIA once came out with a weapon that kind of mimicked the behavior of a taser, but instead of sending electricity through the body, it gave the same symptoms and reactions as a heart attack would. 
and it was known as the heart attack gun. Halloween actually started out with people using real animal heads and skin as their Halloween costumes, and so that they could fit in with other spirits to make sure the spirits thought that they were actually spirits so that they could pass and roam. In 2008, a boy named James was gifted with an Elmo doll, and as soon as they put the batteries in the Elmo doll, the doll exclaimed, kill James. Yeah, I don't know where they bought that doll at. Talking about that gun that the CIA had, it's funny how they also said that the CIA did that to Bob Marley, like the gate, like, they put something, I think, in his shoe and it gave him um, cancer. I don't know if that's fully true, but that is still kind of strange. That's how you know, man. They might be putting stuff in our foods and we wouldn't even know. Scary things caught on camera. Bailey is a TikTok user who works in a so-called haunted theater. As the story goes, the owner of the theater apparently died 30 years ago in a tragic accident and still haunts his theater to this day. One night when Bailey is alone in his job, he finds something terrifying. Take a look. So I work at this uh, old theater and I've been hearing a noise and it's pretty big. Like I'm sitting on the What is that? Why does this mountain have stripes? It was called Martin, and its size was approximately 600 feet tall. This is the Devil's Mine, located in Nevada. This place is haunted by old miners and skinwalkers. No one knows where these baby dolls came from. But when we visited this place, we were not alone. We were hearing voices, footsteps, and other sounds deep down in the mine. This place is dangerous. Do not visit alone. Comment below if you'd visit this haunted place. Guys, we're driving on the countryside at night when they caught this on camera. Pay attention to the windows when they start filming the old houses. He said it looked busted up. I mean, obviously, so it's, it's abandoned. It's abandoned house. How is this gonna look brand new? Come on now, dude. Sometimes I hear a story so scary, it makes me check every room in my apartment. So years ago, this older woman was living alone in her home in Denver. She had recently broken her hip, and before she went to the hospital, her house felt fine. But when she came back, something felt off. Like it would sound like her caretaker was in the other room, but when she would go in, no one would be there. There were also way more like bumps in the night, and sometimes those bumps sounded like footsteps. Eventually, this woman starts thinking that her house is haunted, but one night, her caretaker is getting ready to leave for the day and she hears the noises. And she's like, I have to check this out. I have to get to the bottom of what this is. So she goes to the back stairs where she hears the sound coming from and there she sees this skeletal man with sunken in eyes just staring back at her. And she loses it. She runs away screaming. She calls the police and the police come and search the house, but they can't find anyone until they check the attic and they see that there's this crawl space, which is about the size of a coffin that an adult man had been living in. Yeah, and he had been there for nine months. This will be the creepiest thing that you see today. A neighbor noticed strange paranormal activity coming from another neighbor's garage. He pulled out his phone. Take a look at what he captured. The figure slows down, slowly peers at the neighbor before disappearing. I told you, creepy. Clips like this always convince me that we really do need 
a team of Ghostbusters. How great would that be? Something spooky happens. Call him up. Nah, she's not lying. That would be insane. Imagine having a team of Ghostbusters every time something crazy happens. Yo, Ghostbusters, some crazy stuff happened. I feel like there'd be a lot of fake calls of people like, bro, I heard some noise in my attic. And it's just their cat. It's just like, bro, it's just, it's just like, what do you, what do you call me for? I don't think this was a picture that many people were supposed to see. When these things leak, we typically talk about them. This was the photo that I wanted to talk about. And unlike some of them, for this one, I could pretty much spot straight away what was wrong with the picture. And this was a picture that nobody was ever supposed to see. We know it took place somewhere in the suburban neighborhood, like quiet town, entire family vanished without a trace, but they searched the phones because those were oddly enough left behind. On the phone of the mother, this was a picture that was found. And I'll tell you why it's so strange. Before we do, as always, if you have not listened to Creep Time, the podcast, go click the link in my bio to listen on Spotify or Apple. Like I said, this picture taken by the mother, right? If you look to the back, who is that in this room? According to this file that leaked, this was a family of all boys, a husband, and the mother. Who is this unexplained woman that's in their house? There's nothing in their file to explain this person. I'm sorry to inform you, buddy, but that's not a person. That's a statue. Come on now. I'm first glance I was like, that's not a person, that's a statue. Like this obviously one of the you know the statues that some people have outside. Or if you've ever been to like a church, you might see the statue of Mary and Jesus, just like the really big statues. That's literally just another statue. Dude's bugging. It's definitely not a person. This group of friends decided to drive a Tesla through a cemetery and it kept detecting ghosts. Oh my god! I told Yeah, I've actually seen a couple of clips like that. Not that ex exact clip, but I've seen other clips where they pick up people in graveyards. I wonder if it senses the sensor sense the people's bodies underground, or does it just sense the tombstones and just and, it, and it's just like, oh, there's a person right there thinking it's a person. Like I'm, I'm a little bit confused as to how that works. Strange things happened in this abandoned psychiatric hospital. Patients were electroshocked and injured in the name of making the bad juices flow out of their body. When it was still open, a nurse reported feeling hands squeezing her throat and choking her when she went to sleep. A colleague of hers said that his record player started playing suddenly and that his deceased grandma floated through a wall to warn him he wasn't alone. There's also cases of hospital staff going crazy. After the hospital was closed in 1986, a ghost hunter had a conversation with a girl who hid in the hospital during World War II and told her about more horrible things that happened. The building has been renovated and turned into luxury apartments. Would you dare to live here? Yeah, I'm definitely not living there. One thing I do got to say, though, I don't know who convinced doctors back in the day that, um electrocuting people with really fatal doses of electricity would be smart if, if i could say that <laughs> it, that also makes you think that if back then they thought you know if i really just electrocute your brain it's gonna release all the bad juices whatever the frick or the ones where they like shove the thing up their eye because they're i don't even know like why they would do that but like if you think about that they used to do that thinking it would help people they used to say cigarettes were healthy nowadays None of that's healthy. <laughs> that makes me think, like, maybe nowadays, like, 20, 40, 30 years from now, maybe we'll look back and be like, hmm. So Advil, yeah, it turns out that thing was actually horrible for you. Like, yeah, take an Advil, Advil colon sinus? Oh, no. Are you ready to see a really spooky photo? Many people like to believe that when someone passes on, their spirit stays close. It's a comforting thought. But then there's this picture. Denise Russell took this photo in 1997, and this lovely woman in the photo is her grandmother. And the gentleman in the background is her grandfather. Sweet, right? Except her grandpa passed away in 1984. Safe to say, this photo really shocked the family. So, the question is, is it comforting or a bit spooky? I'd say half and half. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I'll say both because, you know, you know the person, but it's just like they're not here. So it's kind of strange that they're not here, but it's still here, but not here. In my opinion, man, if that happened to me, I'd just be like, eh, yeah, I'm out of here. 
I'm out of here. August 11th, 2020, police dispatchers received what they refer to as an abandoned 911 call just before 3.30 a.m. An abandoned 911 call is when the dispatcher answers only to have the caller hang up. But when they called the line back, something answered. At first, they only hear static in the background, and then a faint, inaudible voice. Police were sent to check it out, and when they arrived, they quickly realized that the call they received was from the local funeral home with a cemetery attached. But the police quickly got spooked because while checking it out, they noticed that the building was locked up, dark, and nobody was in sight. This 800-year-old book contains one of the most cursed images on the planet. So I already know that some of you are gonna say this guy looks like he's straight out of South Park. But some historians say that this is the most accurate portrait of the devil ever drawn. I'm gonna tell you more about it, but if you want the full deep dive and a couple other scary stories, check out this week's episode. This is the book. It's known as the Devil's Bible and it's the largest surviving book from the Middle Ages. For reference, it's three feet long and 165 pounds. Historians can tell it was written by one person and they think it would have taken 20 years to write, but the legend says that it was written in one night. The story goes that back in the 1200s, there was a monk that was sentenced to death. He was going to be walled alive, which is where you stand in place and they build this little coffin around you and then you just wait to die. But the monk pleaded with the judge and said, if you let me live, I will write the entirety of human knowledge into one book and I'll do it in one night. The judge agreed, but a few hours after the monk started writing, he realized he wasn't going to be able to finish that night. He ended up making a pact with the devil so that he could finish the book in one evening. And in return, he drew an accurate portrait of the devil he saw inside of the book. It's also believed that anyone who's ever owned the book has also been cursed, which I get into in the episode, so check it out. I feel like we've seen so many people talk about the accurate description of the devil. You wouldn't really know until you know. I don't think he's just going to come down and be like, Hey buddy, this is what I look like. It's just like that one story. I don't know if you guys ever like read any Bible or anything. You don't have to. I'm just saying like, <clears throat> I've heard stories where it's like the Abraham story where like they he saw God. He couldn't even see God's face because if he did, he would die. It's probably the same thing for the devil. If you've seen the actual, like the actual devil, you'd probably be like spooked or like something. Like you ever seen those things where it's just like, this is what angels actually look like. And it shows you like what angels would actually look like. They look terrifying. They look like demons, but they're not. I feel like the same thing would go for the devil. He'd probably look crazy. I'd be like, yo, you'd probably wouldn't even think it's the devil. You'd probably be like, yo, that's a ghost or the spirit or a demon. Like, you wouldn't even know what it is. She filmed herself sleep talking with a ghost. In 2013, a woman named Jenny began using an app to record her sleep. She lived alone, but she kept waking up to these weird clicking sounds at night. So she begins to use this app to monitor her sleep. And for the first couple weeks, she doesn't find anything out of the ordinary. But on October 30th at 2 a.m., the app began recording that strange clicking sound. Then Jenny begins sleep talking with someone and what she recorded is terrifying. Take a listen. Hauntingly, when Jenny woke up the next morning, she had no memory of any of this. Then she listened to the playback and she was petrified. That's who I imagine Jenny was talking to. Many believe that Jenny captured a ghost talking to her in her sleep and she moved shortly after this. And honestly, who could blame her? If I have talked to a ghost while I've been asleep, oh, I don't wanna know about it. That is between sleeping me and the ghost. Keep me out of it, am I right? I'm gonna need a nightlight tonight. How about you? I don't think I'm gonna need a nightlight. I think I'm straight, but like, that is kind of strange. I'm not gonna lie. It's like, what? I'm trying to figure out, does she live with anyone? Like, if she lives with someone or someone lives with her, then that could be a possible reason. Like, someone probably could have said something and then she could have said something in her sleep and she would have thought that. I mean, I don't think, I mean, if she's freaked out like that, I don't think it could be anyone else, if, if I'm being real. This hotel is haunted. According to writer John Van Eerland, the girl that haunts the halls of Hotel Masbosch was traveling to the hotel during the Second World War when the Nazis attacked the resistance. She was in the wrong place at the wrong time and was killed by the Germans. Ever since, she's been haunting the hotel in order to find peace. In 2010 a couple ran into the lobby of Hotel Masbosch in the middle of the night. 
They demanded they get a different room. Every time they turned their light off, they would see someone standing in the shadows, looking at them. A few months later, three psychics visited the haunted room and were barely able to breathe the entire time they were in the room. Would you spend a night in the haunted room? I would definitely not spend a night in that haunted room at all. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's like, why would I need to do that? Unless I'm making some content, then maybe. But anyways, if you guys like the video, please like the video. Remember to check the chain out. A lot of people actually, even in real life, someone actually compliments me about my Thor hammer chain. I know it looks like an anchor, but it's actually Mjolnir from Thor. Like the actual Mjolnir. If you, ever, if you guys ever played um a game called God of War, God of War Ragnarok, that's the newest one out. If you guys ever played God of War, you kind of, you would see something like this that Thor's holding. Not like the one in Marvel where he has like, you know, the, the sledge looking hammer one. This is actually what his hammer would look like. So, if you guys mess with the Thor hammer, check the link down in the description. Not now, these this is actually free right now, so you can really just get it, <laughs> like realistically. So, if you guys like the video, please like the video. Let's get to 500 likes the video. Remember to subscribe. Uh, check the chains out. Peace out.